Welcome back to Just Scribble. It is an unboxing day. I am so, 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 so excited. I actually have two Chic Sparrow Black Friday unboxings that I'm gonna be doing for you um, super close together because they shipped out a day apart, but they arrived on the same day, yay. And then I have another one that's already on the way and another one that is pending shipment. So I have definitely been taking advantage of the Black Friday sale that Chic Sparrow has been having. When Chic Sparrow first announced their Black Friday sale and how it was gonna be a different sale each Friday, the month of November, um, based on different leather collections and styles, and then another sale on December 2nd, where anything that was on sale those Fridays is on sale again. I originally wasn't sure whether I was going to jump at the chance to buy something or not, but they did have Hemingway, Hemingway on sale, and I absolutely adore my Hemingway Havana A5 folio. I have a video of the unboxing and you can see how freaking gorgeous it is. I'll have to pull it out um, to show you in comparison to my newest Havana baby. But I had been wanting and wishing and hoping for a B6 Havana for quite a while. And I kept talking myself out of it that I didn't really need it and that it wasn't really necessary. You know, it's a first world problem. And so I held off and I held off and I held off. And then the sale came and it was 25% off and I, it was in stock and I couldn't help myself. So I bought it. And so we are going to do my Black Friday unboxing of my B6 Havana from the Hemingway collection from Chic Sparrow. I will say I have seen a couple of unboxings from Black Friday for Chic Sparrow so far, and most of them have been in black padded mailers, and I did not get black padded mailers on my orders, but that is perfectly okay. I like getting the Chic Sparrow blue padded mailer because I know exactly what it is. I'm sure that my postman thinks I'm in some sort of weird cult because I get blue padded mailers in the mail and it's such a unique and vibrant blue. I'm sure he's like, what, what is this chick doing that she always keeps getting these same blue padded mailers from the same address all the time? But it is kind of a cult, I guess, because we are definitely addicted to the products. So I'm not all that sad about it. So I am going to get right into the unboxing. I will say my sister also participated in the Hemingway sale because she had been wanting also a B6, but in the Madrid, which is the buttered rum that has been hand rubbed to turn it into a Havana, whereas this is Bennett, Darcy Bennett. I do have a an Odyssey Siren, which is similar to what a Hemingway Madrid is because it is a buttered rum base. It was my first Chic Sparrow and I absolutely adore it and I love it, but the Bennett leather is my favorite Darcy leather of all time. It beats out buttered rum, it beats out toffee. I just absolutely adore it. It is gorgeous. And so she got Madrid and I got Havana and I am, she also got classic. I got deluxe, so I'm going to post a little video and photo comparison on Instagram later once I can snag hers to put with mine to show you guys the comparison of the two just in case it's something that you've been looking at and you were interested in the two colors and how different they are and, or if you were planning on taking advantage of the sale that's going to be on December 2nd, you would see them ahead of time and so you could see the classic versus the deluxe and the very warm light tan color base of the Madrid versus the cool brown of the Bennett. So I am going to unbox this and we're going to check it out. So get the card as always that talks to you about leather and its natural characteristics. I'll tell you that I also ordered some dashboards with this so that's within the glass scene envelope so I will show those to you just in case it's something that you're interested in. Chic Sparrow dashboards are my absolute favorite. I did request a certain thing in my notes, but notes are never guaranteed. It truly depends on what's available at that time. Sometimes hides don't have any of these factors in them, and sometimes they didn't make the size that I ordered with those factors or with those variations on them. So I did put it on there, but it may not have it on there or it may, so we will see. But I did ask for crazy wrinkles and fat rolls, 
veining and color variation with a please. So I did ask for that. So that is my order notes, just so you guys can see. These are the dashboards. One of these dashboards is for my sister actually, which is the B6 dashboard. She forgot to add it to her order when she ordered her Madrid. She ordered first, so I added it to mine for her. So this is a B6 dashboard for her, and these are two passport dashboards for me. I needed them for my passport mini art journal, and so I was needing some extra ones for that, and I'll be doing a video on that soon, so you'll see it, and you'll see how I'm using those. But let's get to the important stuff, the notebook. So if you're not familiar with Hemingway, it is a Darcy notebook that has been hand rubbed by the team with a custom made dye of some sort that they create the color of themselves. It's Jennifer's mix of wonderful color and they hand rub it to make a unique but consistent style for these notebooks to make them look like they are a notebook that has traveled and been used and kind of patinaed around the edges and things like that. So this is my Havana B6. So as you can see, there's no wrinkles, which I knew that was probably gonna be the case. They're not very common, but it does have some little fine lines over here in the hide. And you can see the color variation. It is really pretty. I just, I don't know, I just love this color. This is the inside. I mean, look at those pockets. Look at the hand rubbing where you can see the hand rubbing they did on these pockets. Is that not the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? Like this is to me the like the perfect notebook, like the perfect color and look. It's not necessarily my all time favorite leather. I do love Darcy, don't get me wrong. But of all of Shakespeare's leathers, it is not my all time 100% favorite leather, but it is my all time 100% favorite color. So I, I just absolutely love it. It is perfection. It is so pretty. I am going to grab my A5 folio so you can see it in comparison. It has a little bit more color variation in the hide, not from the hand rubbing, but in the hide itself, some fat rolls and things like that. And so I wanna show it to you and compare it, but I think this is absolutely gorgeous. All right, so this is my Hemingway Havana folio. And this one was done when they first started the process of transitioning from a hand rub Darcy to the Havana line. And so they were done a little bit differently. They were a little lighter handed um, with the hand rubbing and they were less consistent. So if you ordered one, it could look like this one or it could look more like this one where it was very dark around the edges with kind of like a highlighting spot. It just kind of varied. This is probably my favorite notebook I've ever bought in my entire life. It is just, I mean, it's stunning. Look at it. It has veining and fat rolls and color variations and it looks like a book that you've loved and used and carried and held on to forever. It is just fabulous. And it still has that kind of like spotlight, but it's a little bit more subtle, which to me is perfect for the folio versus the traveler's notebook just because I think in this style, it kind of needed that. It, it just, I don't know, it looks like an old book, I guess. And so that is my folio, which I absolutely love. And so because of this and how much I adored this, I had to get this. So they are very different, but also very much the same. This one is a little um, redder toned, the leather. Um, and this one is a little bit cooler toned, but they are both absolutely gorgeous. I am not normally a person that rolls leather, but I might end up rolling this one just because of the notebook that it is. Because it is a Hemingway that is meant to be looked like it's used and loved and it's traveled and it's been used to write wonderful stories and share your life. And so I think the kind of beat up look and the more used look um, would be awesome on this, but we'll see because I have a lot of trouble getting myself to roll leather, but we'll see. But I think it is 
gorgeous. I hope you guys think it's gorgeous too because I think this line is fabulous. The Odyssey line was fine and I love my Odyssey Siren that I have that I've had since I first found Traveler's Notebooks and Chic Sparrow, but it does not hold a candle to the Hemingway line. To me, this is what Odyssey should have been from the start and so I am super excited that they have this line now. So. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram at justscribble.yt so that you can check out the short video and photo comparison that I'm going to post either today or tomorrow on my sister's Hemingway Madrid versus my Hemingway Havana. And then you can see the same size, but in two different styles, in two different colors, two different ends of the brown spectrum and see what you think. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you have any questions about either of these notebooks or the Hemingway collection or anything about Chic Sparrow, please don't hesitate to comment below. Check back soon for another unboxing and some fun art videos. And don't forget to just scribble.